Hey, good morning, y'all. This is Jim Tut. We're down here in Okeechobee for the first FAW tour. And, uh, you know, people use baits all over the country, but for some reason in South Florida or in the whole state of Florida, gambler products are just dominant on the circuit and even for uh, casual fishermen. What I'm going to do today is show you some of their baits. And, and living in East Texas, I live in an area where there's a lot of grass lakes, Sam Rayburn, uh, Toledo Bend, and stuff like that. Even at, up north, there's grass lakes. So what I'm going to show you is some of the lures that work great down here, which can be transferred to those lakes we got back home or the lakes that you live on. Uh, one of the main things we got here in Florida, and you always hear flipping and punching, and this is, uh, this is a new bait that Gambler has. It's called a Why Not. It's uh, designed for flipping. It's got a good solid head. Uh, it's got kind of a little uh, split tail flapper. Works really good for punching, uh, even for bed fishing. Got a whole lot of colors on it. This thing works good. Had a chance to catch some on it this week. Uh, a couple of nice ones on it, too. You can go to Toledo and Rayburn, you know, change your weight size, punch with this thing. It's really good for flipping thick, thick mats. Works great. It's called a Why Not. A lot of good colors, too. Second thing we got here down in Florida, this is kind of a new worm, too. This is the burner worm. This thing works really, really good on uh, real shallow spawning type fish, flats and stuff like that. It's heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. It's got a good little cut tail. You can throw this thing a mile. And um, you can see those fish coming. It's pretty exciting. I had a chance to go down the Everglades and just smash them. But like uh, we have a tour event coming up in March at Sam Rayburn and uh, fish are going to be spawning shallow. This thing works great over shallow pads and stuff like that. The explosions are pretty good. It's uh, got some good colors, but the main thing on this particular worm, it's heavy. You can throw it a long ways and it, uh, you don't miss a lot of fish on it. You use a big hook. I use a 6 aught EWG hook. Works great. Uh, another thing too that's really, really good and the guys back home, especially on Toledo Bend, love to do this. This works great on Lake Champlain too. Now this is a Santone jig, um, but this is the Gambler Mega Daddy, which is a big crawdad. You can see the full size of this thing here. It's big. Um, got great flapping action, big bulky bait. Uh, got a lot of action when it falls. We use a heavy jig. This is an ounce and a half for punching mats or even flipping deep hydrilla. Thing got a lot of action, and when it's crashing down there, the fish just eat it up. It also works good flipping too by itself with a big heavy weight. But uh, that's the Mega Daddy. That thing kills. That's a big fish bait right there. Another lure, and you know, with the Alabama rig, umbrella rig, craze going on, um, swim bait deals are kind of the deal right now. This is a Gambler Big Easy in the Houdini color, which is a dominant bait down here in Okeechobee this time of year. And uh, it also comes in the Easy Swimmer, which is a little shorter, and the Little Easy, which is smaller, which a lot of people are going to use on the umbrella type rigs. This thing is a, is a good bait for fishing submerged uh, shallow water. I got a heavy weight on it. Uh, now, I've caught a lot of fish back home on Toledo Bend with this thing. And uh, all these gamma lures, too, have scent, too, which I think is a big deal. Some of the bang attractants in those things. But um, that works really good on um, flats for smallmouth, too. My brother and I went to Champlain last year and just wrecked them on that bait right there. Of course, the standby, which catch them anywhere, is the Gambler Ace. Um, you know, I hate to mention Cinco, but Cinco is kind of a general referral now to lures. But the Ace is... Um, a stick bait works really good. It's heavy, got a lot of colors, soft, so it sinks good. Uh, use it weightless. A bunch of fish will be caught this week on that bait right there. And my favorite, which if anybody knows me is fishing, they know I catch a lot of fish on this thing right here. And this is probably one of Gambler's best products. It's, uh, it's the Giggy Head by Gambler. And what this is, is just a finesse jig head, a shaky head, if you will. But the thing about this that makes it so good is um, there's several reasons. I helped design this thing several years ago, but it's got a five alt hook, Gamma Gatsu hook, which is great. The line ties you can tell is really tight to the head and the keeper. This one has the uh, lead keeper. They also have a spring loaded keeper. I like the lead one because it doesn't hold it on too good. It's designed at the perfect angle if you saw how the, um, the hook gets on there and it's perfect when it sets up on the, on the hook. I probably won $600,000 on that lure alone in the last six or seven years uh, you know all this other stuff is power stuff if it gets tough throw the little shaky head with the gambler giggy guarantee you'll catch fish on that no doubt so you know if you get a chance uh, check some of these gambler products out uh, here's the packaging and stuff on it's pretty easy to identify them they're great um, you know if you can't find them go online you can get them at uh, gamblerlures.com uh, they work really good in all lakes especially grass lakes but uh, give them a shot i think you'll have a good good luck with them Bye.